What will Kobe's moveset look like? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing the last character in the second DLC pack for Character Pass 2, Kobe. Specifically Kobe from Film Red, which I don't think really means much in this case. So Kobe is a character that's pretty interesting because I feel like in the game's history, there hasn't been a single game that has done post time skip Kobe. Now the first game, obviously I understand because Pirate Warriors 1 only goes up to the time skip and has like, well, I think only like a few of the Straw Hats in their post time skip outfits and specifically Luffy. Pirate Warriors 2 was an original story, but I don't remember Kobe being part of that all too much, if at all. And then Pirate Warriors 3 obviously was the canon stuff all the way up to Dress Rosa, which had a filler ending. But again, Kobe's like render, his character model, you know, all the art like that they have of him. It's all the pre time skip Kobe from Marine Ford and Water 7, which is hilarious because it's like, you know, you have like post time skip Luffy and then you see Kobe talking to him and it's like, you know, you just see the art at the bottom of his of his subtitles and it's just pre time skip. So this will be the first time we get a proper post time skip badass Rocky Port incident, you know, Captain Kobe. Which I do think we get him with a couple costumes. And what I mean by that is that even though it specifies film red, what I interpret by that is if they mean that, then I'm assuming if they mean by like the outfit that he has, which is like, you know, the outfit at the end of film red, which you see on the screen here, is like, you know, this black, you know, overcoat with the black vest and the blue and everything and the white, which is a really sick look for him. Uta really dripped him out, I feel like more so than even Luffy. But that Kobe fit was really cool. But I also hope we get his traditional, you know, Captain Kobe outfit that we see him in in the episode of Luffy, all the post time skip content in general where he appeared. I think it'd be really cool if we do get both of those as costumes. If not, we do get a full just film red costume DLC pack because as opposed to even Pirate Warriors 3, it is kind of crazy how Pirate Warriors 4 kind of skipped out on some content in terms of like costuming and stuff like that compared to the last game because the last game still has stuff from the other game you know like the strong world outfits the film z outfits the you know dynasty warrior collabs and all that stuff so it's kind of crazy that we don't have that many you know crazy costumes and like you know stuff from the movies so let's hop into the first of three segments in these videos which is the type what type of character will kobe be this was pretty interesting because if you see the gameplay in the background, I was Luchi and I and I just stood around because I know I've seen Kobe and I know obviously he has his own moves. So I just stood around and, let, and I tried to see what type of moves he would do. Maybe we get a, a sense of what typing that this you know version of, of Kobe is. And if you see here, he does get a purple aura. Now again, this is pre time skip Kobe. So that would make him a technique type. Now, I am kind of going on the limb here to say that they're going to change that and make him potentially a sky type. And my only justification for that is, you know, the whole get pull stuff. Like, that's why I'm using Luchi, because I do think when we get into the combos and stuff, I do think Kobe's going to kind of lend himself to be kind of similar to Luchi in this sense, because I feel like he's the closest in terms of fighting style. But yeah, for some reason, they have him as a technique type and... The only thing I can probably think of as to why is that if you've seen the gameplay, he does have the Soru technique, you know, shave or whatever. And he like teleports like, you know, to a different area and then like he does like a move or something. So maybe that's why this version of Kobe is a technique type as opposed to being a, you know, a sky type or a power type or whatever. But yeah, personally, I don't think he's going to continue being a technique type. I actually do think he's going to be a sky type. Like I said already before, it's mainly because of the get post stuff. And honestly, the way he moves around in, you know, in film red and in general, like some of the stuff that he does in the manga, some of the stuff that he did, like in this episode of Luffy stuff where he like does stuff in the sky. I do think he's going to be a sky type, in my opinion. The only other option I think aside from the maybe technique and sky type is probably a speed type. I don't see him being a power type despite the crazy moves that he did in the manga which we'll get into. But yeah let's get into the combos after all of that and honestly like I said already I do think the combos are going to look very similar to Luchi and a little bit of what they have already with you know the Kobe that they have in game. So it's not really tough to think of how the combos are going to look for him. I feel like it's going to be very, you know, punch, punch, kick, kick, you know, with some Sky stuff, some Ron Kyakus maybe. I don't think he'll use the Shigan. I feel like that's a CP9 assassination exclusive. 
And what I mean by that is I feel like CP9 specifically uses, like, you know, Shigan and all that stuff for, like, their assassination purposes. And because Kobe's the type of character that's not really that type, I just see him kind of being a, you know, a flurry of punches type of character, a flurry of kicks. And it's kind of interesting, too, because the character that they have in the game that's Kobe, you know, the AI or whatever, the model, is kind of a you know kind of a kick character he does a lot of ron kyakus he does a lot of like kicking he does like dive kicks and stuff like that so you know maybe they're gonna go kind of like a mix of sanji a little bit so maybe like luchi sanji esque now if he is a sky type i do hope they add this like it was a very brief moment in the episode of luffy special thing and it was when he like i don't know he jumped in the sky he did like what it looked like I don't know, it looked like maybe Ron Kyaku, but like from his hands or something. Like, it's a very interesting move that like, it like diced up this giant like spin dice thing to like save the people or whatever. So I think that'd be a really, you know, interesting move that they might give him because obviously they're, they're gonna pull from, I think every facet to make this Kobe pretty good. The reason I even said he might be a speed type in his combo is because obviously he does have, you know, Soru. So I think they might, incorporate that so if you look at luchi too he does have this like soru i think thing mixed with like maybe kamie and stuff and gepo and all that so he kind of like does like this very flurry kind of thing where he kind of like going side to side in the air and he's like, disappearing while attacking at the same time i do think it'd be pretty cool if they give kobe something like that because you know kobe does fly around he's also very fast apparently because i don't know if you remember this crazy ass moment in the manga or like in the anime where i'm playing here where, like, I guess they shot a torpedo at, you know, the Dressrosa Kingdom ship. And he just goes in the water and read the, like, he somehow, you know, Aquamans it, grabs it, and throws it back, I guess. So it's kind of crazy how, like, Kobe is in terms of mobility. So I think Sky or Speed Type would be kind of crazy. And I think his combos are going to be a mixture of something that looks like luchi and sanji because again the the npc does a lot of kicks and dive kicks but it's going to be very interesting how they you know adapt his combos and stuff like that and the last thing for combos i do think they're you know they could take inspiration from this one moment where kobe and helmabo are like running up to musica's like piano arm and he does like i don't know it's just a really cool looking like animation and like you know again it kind of does give me sanji vibes with how much like you know that he uses his legs so i could see them taking inspiration from this move set or like you know this moment in the movie where you know he's running up so i think that could be part of his combos if not one of the combo like sets that he has all right let's move into specials so special attacks are going to be interesting because again i kobe much like shanks didn't really do much in the movie and what i mean by that like obviously kobe was in the movie quite a bit actually but he wasn't really a fighting character. To be fair, the movie isn't really a a fighting-based movie. It's a, basically a musical, right? So Kobe was undercover for most of the movie, but there are some moments where I think could be special attacks. One of his specials, I think, is going to be this, like, dive kick, which is funny enough already in, like, the NPC's, I guess, code, because the NPC does, like, do a dive kick. But the funny thing about the movie version is just, like, it's not that like quote-unquote cool looking like he does like get pull stuff with Zoro and then he just does a kick like it's just a dive kick with no hockey or anything visible hockey anyway so yeah I mean that's gonna be a, a, you know an interesting special because I think Kobe's like Shanks where you know you don't really see a lot of like new or crazy special attacks from him because Kobe's pretty much undercover the entire film and then he really only fights at the end. Another special attack is obviously going to be his full force burst. Now if it's going to be film red Kobe, like I said, I do think that they're they could have inspiration from like a character like Katakuri where when Katakuri does his full force burst, he takes off the what is it, like a scarf, I forgot what it's called, but like a scarf from him and he changes his like, you know, look temporarily. So maybe they could have Kobe do the pose that he does when he's basically taking charge while Luffy's knocked out for like a little, like a couple minutes or whatever. And he's taking charge, he takes off the coat, he's telling everyone what to do. But that could be his like full force burst like animation. Uh, even though I would prefer for him to keep on the coat because the coat is really raw, but you know, that could be a thing. So this one's going to be a bit of a stretch because obviously this is when Luffy just punched him right in the face and it was over. But they could incorporate some really cool like, you know, animation or move 
where Kobe does the first part of this where he does this really cool sodu. You know, he stances up, puff air around him, and he's like, I'm going to hit Luffy, I'm going to stop him. Doesn't work out, but he does this really cool animation regardless. So I think that could be, you know, a special attack, especially because we haven't seen it in the game. So we got the dive kick, we got that, we have the full force. Maybe I'm going to go with a little Garp here. You know, Garp has, especially I think Pyro Warriors 3 when he was playable, he did used to have like this, you know, the crazy cannonball thing that he think he launched at Luffy in Water 7. You know, so I think it would be pretty cool if they give kind of a, a nod to him, obviously being a student of Garp. That, you know, that moment where I'm showing right here where he, where Kobe, you know, dives in, grabs the torpedo and like launches it back, whatever. I think that could be a pretty fun special attack, you know, give a nod to Garb, be very similar to him. So that'd be pretty cool. This one's a bit of a stretch too, but okay. So the last two that I can think of in terms of Kobe special attacks are the first one being Conqueror's Hockey. Now, he never really uses it like, you know, like that. But then again, they did give it to even characters like Odin, characters like Kid. Um, that I don't remember them using it crazy like that, you know, like obviously they have it like at least Odin had it infused, but I don't remember kid and You know Odin using it because even in, in one piece stampede where kid was there. He didn't hockey clash with bullet It was just Luffy. So it is pretty interesting that they gave you know character like that uh, Conqueror's hockey so, you know, I you know that one's a bit of a stretch But again, I feel like the only character that might not have Conqueror's hockey is going to be Uta Which is so hilarious because everyone else will probably have it and the last one, so I remember I went into detail on why I don't think they might, you know, they might not give Shanks the Divine Departure or like manga stuff. And, you know, a, a good commentary, you know, corrected me and stuff like that, which was 100% valid. And he reminded me that Odin, or they reminded me that Odin came out in December of 2020. And I don't even, like, I think the flashback just wrapped up in the manga and the anime wasn't even there yet. So we got an Odin with like a full moveset and everything. So... You know, it is, and we even got Blackbeard's time skip design in the game first. So, you know, it is pretty cool that we do get stuff like that from the manga. So I do, you know, think that they'll take this move from the manga, which is hella recent. You know, it was about like what a couple weeks ago, a couple chapters ago, and it is Kobe's honesty impact, which is allegedly a conqueror's hockey infused just massive wave shock wave attack reminiscent of whatever garp does you know which again makes sense because he's a student of garp so yeah you know this thing basically destroyed a mountain made the whole mountainside launched it right through it and shredded it like butter so i do think it'd be really cool if we do get the honesty impact as a move That'd be really, really sick. So that's going to wrap up my thoughts for Kobe and his potential moveset. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about, you know, everything that I talked about. What do you think that they could add for Kobe that I might have missed? Because I did scour all of Film Red. I scoured the manga. I scoured stuff that wasn't, you know, that was a decade old. Because, again, the only Kobe we have is the Kobe that's from, like, pre-Marine, you know, pre-Time Skip, Marine Fort, Water 7. So... You know, I did scour a bit, but if I missed anything, make sure you guys let me know in the comments or what you think they could add to make Kobe a little bit more interesting and maybe give him another special move. Now, make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed, because the next video, we're going to be diving into the Younger Days pack, you know, the another data mine pack that includes Goldie Roger, Young Rayleigh, and Young Garp, and we're going to be hitting up our boy Roger in the next video. So, appreciate you all. Love you all. Peace out, everybody.